Callan, what do you think of that ball Anthony threw to you, uh, just kind of layering it in over toward the sideline? Yeah, great spot. You know, he, he put some uh, juice on it and get put it in a, a space that only I can make a play on it. Got up, made the play, got my feet in, and moved the ball. Got out, there, got out there for quite a bit of snaps with him today. Just what do you think you got out of that kind of extended run? Yeah, just this uh, this last stint before you know we strap it up and Jacksonville comes into our house. So I think it was the last you know quick tighten of the screws before we hit the ground running. In particular, the last two weeks having the joint practice opportunities at home here, then of course this game. What strides have you seen Anthony take in particular over that period of time? Um, just uh, his veterancy, I can see it coming in. Um, he's just looking more and more comfortable. The play calls are coming in quicker. Um, he's able to check in and out of things depending on what he sees. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of flowing better, flowing easier. And uh, I feel like we're just meshing better as an offense right now. How do you feel like your chemistry with Anthony has built from first time you met him to now? Oh, uh, I mean, it, it, that happens anytime you know you meet a new quarterback. Um, you start throwing the ball together, and then you can just feel it. It's almost like a, it's just like an innate <laughs> feeling going in. Like you can feel the confidence from both his side and your side because you know where the ball is going to be, and he also knows where you're going to be. So I feel like it's a confidence that works both ways. I'm not sure if it picked up on the microphone, but we just heard a big chuckle back there from Drew Ogletree. Yeah. How good was it to have him back making some big plays out there today? It was good. It was good to see him. You know, uh, He had a few big plays today. I was excited for him to see him back out there trucking people. Uh, yeah, it was good. It's always good when we got all the tight ends out there. We, we were eating today. I mean, everybody, it was me, it was Will, it was Drew, it was Farrow, it was Mo. Like, we were eating, like, it was a feast, so it was a fun time. That's exactly something that I asked Coach Steichen about was the amount that you spread the ball around to the tight ends today and just how difficult some of these decisions are going to be. He said guys across this position group have really made the most of the opportunity. How proud have you been of this group stepping up because you guys have battled through a lot over the course of the preseason? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it wouldn't be football if it wasn't fraught with adversity. Um, you know, we've, we've battled through everybody, uh, you know, it's a very versatile room. We said that in the beginning, and you know I think you can see it out here tonight that we've got a we got a different tool for each different problem, and we get slotted in, and we do our job, and then we get we come out. But you know um, I'm really proud of the guys. I'm uh, getting to know them. It was a lot of fun, and you know as we're heading into this you know final time, I'm going to look forward to you know seeing them for a little bit before you know season starts. You brought up Will Mallory. Uh, you probably can remember being a rookie tight end, learning what's a pretty hard position to to take advantage of. So what have you seen out of him since he's been able to get back healthy? Oh, a lot of growth. Um, you know, it, I know his head's spinning a little bit when he was first getting out there. You know, you're a young guy, you're, it, stuff's moving fast, but I can tell it's already kind of starting to slow down for him a little bit. Um, he's starting to calm down a little bit out there. And uh, yeah, he's, he's doing great. Yeah.